having nude photographs taken on Wednesday. What are you gonna do, have postcards made up to hand out to prospective dates? This is not about a man's approval. This photo is just for me. So when I'm old and my tits are in my shoes, I can look at it and say, damn, I was hot. Yes, I need glasses and I am not ashamed. I have a sexy young man who loves to fuck me and I'm fabulous. Hello? It's over. I told my wife. Who is this? It's Ken. Wait. Icon legend is the moment. This is Samantha Jones. Ah, uh, Miss Jones. This is Beydoun at the front desk. I will need a credit card number for the room charges. Um, Beydoun, there must be some mistake. I am a guest of Sheikh Lead. There is no room charge. Yes, I have a record of that, but not from today on. W what are you talking about? I have a meeting with the Sheikh on Tuesday. Ah, uh, yes. I have a note here from Mr. Mahmoud. Uh, that meeting is no longer as well. That sneaky bastard has canceled the meeting and he wants us to pay for the room from now on. We have you booked into the jewel suite until Wednesday. The charge is 22000 per night. The room is $22,000 a night. What? We can't pay that. Let him sue me. The punishment for not paying your hotel bill in the UAE is jail. What time is checkout? In precisely one hour. We have an hour to pack and get the fuck out of Abu Dhabi. Oh, what? Oh, New Middle East, my ass. <laughs> Fucking Paul Abdul. Where is she when you need him? You put up a very good fight, but you have no idea who you're dealing with. I'm going home with him, and you're going home with key lime custard. So what do you say I buy your dinner, and we call it a night? Hmm? Okay. Shaq? You're not a virgin. Well, I am in this relationship, and, and I think it's romantic. Yeah, it's romantic until he can't figure out where to put it in. But the thing I like best about him is his family. Hmm, anyone there you can find? What? I'm trying to be helpful. Let me tell you about his cock. Will you be quiet? People at the next table have a child. Well, that's their choice. A bad kisser is a non-negotiable. You told Big I love you because he gave you that? What did you think it was? A large diamond duck ring? I always practice safe sex. That generation is all about sexual experimentation. All the kids are going by. So what, if all the bi kids are jumping off a bridge, you're gonna do that too? <laughs> I'm a trisexual. I'll try anything once. I'm officially out of men to fuck. I have to get married or move. Honey, I can hardly blow my nose, let alone blow you. No woman, no matter what color, has the right to tell me who I can or cannot fuck. <laughs> you know, you're nothing but a big dick with a little man attached. Thanks. That's why I only date rich men. Money means that there's enough space to distance yourself from the number two. And do this all the time. Women walk around thinking we. And their version of we is me and my dick. How many sexual partners have you had? I'm counting.
Um, this year? Well, let's just say it. You won. Was there a contest? Oh, please. There's always a contest with an ex. It's called Who'll Die Miserable. I need a new gynecologist. Do you like yours? Not right now. No. Well, at least she's a woman. I tried to go to a man, but it was just too strange. Having a guy spend all that time down there, and then you leave without an orgasm and a bill. Fuck. Press room is to the left. Crinkle cut sheets and some fat inquiry reporters? I don't think so. Ah, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I'm not going to die in this tin can. I have a date with a dildo. I love you. Okay. Time to move. Who told you that? A little bird. I fucked at Ralph Lauren. You know what? If I was a guy, you would have shaken my hand, bought me a scotch, and given me a key to an office. There's something happening with men in the ass. 35 to 44. Honey, welcome to my box. <laughs> no one wants to hear about their lovers' past lovers. What happened was in the past, leave it there. How would you like to make love to this every night? Is it kosher? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> it's tragic. Well, I've never done a threesome. Oh, come on. Of course you haven't. You want a threesome? You won't even wear a thong. What can I say? I need a big dick. Well, that's a girdle with a hole. <laughs> well, of course it has a hole. It's for peeing. Etc. A straight woman and a gay woman can't be friends? Of course they can, but you can't expect to move to Wonder Woman's Island and not go native. It's love at first sight. Oh, mm. honey, this isn't love. This is about two people justifying a week of non-stop fucking. On my furniture, I have to redecorate. I only groped your husband's flat, preppy ass at that benefit because I was drunk. I'll see myself out. Let's move on to Downward Facing Dog. Woof. Would you like some fresh pepper? Oh, honey, I'd love some fresh pepper. In fact, I think everyone at this table could use a lot of fresh pepper. Speaking of Bellinis, I'm going to have a big drink. Jealous? <laughs> They're a bunch of dried-up old farts who haven't had sex since Eisenhower, and I remind them of what they can't have. It might be time to move. No, you can't move. You have a rent-controlled apartment on the Upper East Side. Honey, this isn't rent control. This is life control. How to please a man. I could teach the damn class. Against city law to the face public property. This man said he loved me, and I caught him eating another woman's pussy. Carry on, ma'am. Samantha didn't need a man to make her feel positive, but she did need a man to inject her forehead every so often. We like to warn our patients that some people find it difficult to register emotion on their faces after the injections, so you might have to say, I am so angry. Miss Jones is familiar with the procedure. Oh. New ones. Like most high-powered women, Samantha could handle the stress of her job, but not the stress lines. Before we do the Botox, have you thought about a freshening chemical peel? It takes 15 minutes and it can make you look 10 to 20 years younger. Oh! 15 minutes later, Samantha seemed to have it all. Peeled off. Back at the Bat Mitzvah Bash, Samantha heard some girl talk not suitable for little ladies. I'm gonna totally fuck at least three of those five and sink guys after the after party. And I heard the other two are gay. So, I'd fuck them, I'd fuck them and our gay boyfriend. Ladies, aren't you a little young for that kind of talk? <laughs> oh, I'm serious. You have your whole lives to talk that way. You should enjoy being children. At least until you turn 15 and start having sex. Please, I've been giving blowjobs since I'm 12. Really? It's the only way to get guys to like you. Oh, honey, that isn't true. Oh, talk to the hand, Grandma. Samantha had been resenting Jenny Breyer all this time because of everything she had. But then Samantha realized she'd had something that no amount of money could buy. A childhood. And so Miss, did you leave your car on the sink? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. Since they didn't seem to know who she was at the Soho house, she figured she could be Annabelle Bronstein. <laughs> The next day, Samantha...
Samantha tested the waters with her fake ID. Excuse me. Can I get you something to drink, Miss Brownstein? Yes, but I'll just pay cash. And please, call me Excuse Annabelle. Excuse me, uh, which one of you is Annabelle Bronstein? I am. Well, that's impossible. Miss Bronstein is in London for the week. No, I am Annabelle Bronstein. And she's British. As I was saying, dear sir, I...